In G8 day one, we're introducing that the Y may say I at the end of a word, and we've also got the E may say its long sound E. So let's colour in those first up. So I've got the Y saying I, st, I, sp, I, d, r, I, sh, I, shy, and whip, I, Y. And then down the bottom we've got the E, b, e, gin, b, e, gan. So the E is making its long sound. So the other things that you have to remember here is um, you, the SH makes a sh sound, so you've got sh, I. And here, you know there's an H after the W because when you say, if you put your hand over your mouth, Y, you can feel air, so you know that there's an H after the W. So that's an easy cheat there for you. Okay, let's look at the meanings of these words. So we've got sty. You might um, go to a farm sometime and the cage or the pen that pigs are kept in is called a pigsty. Your mum or dad might say that to you too. If your room's really messy, they might say, oh, your room looks like a pigsty. That means it's really messy. Spy could be a noun or a verb. You could spy on someone like your brother or your sister. Means you could check what they're doing without them knowing. Um, and a spy is a person that um, some people might have been a spy in the war to see what the enemy were doing or, or something like that, trying to find out what the other people were doing. Dry means that there's no water. The opposite to dry would be wet. So we'll put that in a box so we know that means the opposite. Um, so this is a picture of a desert where it would be very dry. You'd have to take lots of water if you visit the desert. Shy means someone's a bit coy or quiet or frightened of other people, perhaps. Why is when you ask a question. Begin is the start of something and began means you've already um, started. So it's a past tense of begin. Now, um, there's some little jokes down the bottom for you to try and work out the answers to these. Um, and if you get stuck, you might have to Google them. So let's read these words, sound them, and spell them and write them. So we're going to read it. St I, sty, st I, st I, sty, sty, sty. Write it three times. And then check to see if you've got it correct. A star can also mean a little swelling on the edge of your eye too. So these ones are fairly easy for you to do. So you're going to read them, sound them three times, spell them three times, cover them, write them three times and then check. And the reason we spell them is because this could be tricky. It's to I, you have to know to change that I sound to a Y. The letter Y is making the I sound in these words. So that's very important that you do spell these words as well. G8 day two, we're revising that the Y on the end of a word may make its long I sound. And the E here is making the long E sound. So let's go through and highlight those first up. So we've got st I sty, p s p I spy, d r I dry, sh I shy, h I why. Change colours, and then we've got b e gin begin, b e gan began. Now let's read the word. Sound the word. Spell the word, cover it, and write it. So we've got sty, st, i, s, t, y, cover it, and write it. And then check to make sure that you got it right. So you probably remember the meanings of these words. So a sty is uh, where a pig lives. We don't call it a pig cage, we call it a pig sty. Um, and it, sometimes you have a sty in your eye where your eye might swell up because you've got a little lump on the lid or something. Spy um, is someone, you can, it could be a noun or a verb. You can spy on someone or someone who spies is called a spy. 
dry uh, means that there's it's not wet at all. The opposite would be wet. Shy means you're quite coy. Um, why is asking a question. Begin as a start of something and began means you've already started it. So you can finish um, reading, sounding, spelling, cover and writing and then checking those words. So it says, why did the skeleton go to the party alone? You'll have to work out the answer to that one. Match the picture to the word. We've got a pig star here, a cactus. They always grow where it's very dry. And you'll have to work out this one on your own. Write a list word that means start. So um, started. So begin and began would be the first two there. You can work out the rest of those on your own. And then down here it says write your own riddle. So you can write the question on the first line and the answer on the second line. Copy and draw. So here you might like to also highlight the list word. I dry my hair. Have a good look at it. Then cover it. See if you can write it without looking. I dry my, and if you get stuck, you can have a quick peek. Hair, full stop at the end, capital letter at the start of the sentence. Then you have to draw a picture of that in the box here. I will dry the dishes. The clothes are dry. Your room looks like a pigsty. So you've got four sentences to copy down and then four pictures to draw. G8 day three, we're revising that the Y on the end of a word can make it the long I sound. So we've got st I sty, sp I spy, d r I dry, sh I shy, p I why, and then we've got the long E sound and we're using an E for the long E sound. So we've got b E gin, b E gan. So you can highlight all of those if you haven't done. And then we're going to go back and read the word, sound the word and spell the word. Now just as a, a bit of revision, remember that if you say why, you can feel air after the W so you know there's an H in there after the W. So let's read the word, sound the word, spell the word and write it. So we've got sty, st, i, s, t, y, cover it and write it. Now the reason we sound a word is because it doesn't matter how old you are, if you've got a tricky word to write, we always sound it out first and then we search for the letters that make that sound. So here we could use all sorts of different combinations to write a long I sound. So we have to identify that we're using the Y for the I sound in these words. That's why we transfer it to the letters from the sound to the letters that represent that sound in these words. So we've got sp I, spy, S P Y, cover it and write it. Dry, d r i, d r y, cover it and write it. It helps your brain to remember it the more you repeat it out loud and by writing it. So why are fish so smart? You're going to have to find the answer to that little riddle. Verb families. We've got spy, spying, and here we would make it say it's past tense, so we'd be adding the ed. So you've got to find the base word here. Now, when we added the es and when we add the ed, we have to change the y to an i if there is a consonant before the y. Yes, there is a consonant before the y, that's why we changed it to an i. So we've got Spy is the base word. Spies, we change the Y to an I before we add the ES because there is a consonant before the Y. We can't change the Y to an I here because in English words we never, ever, ever have double I in a word. So as much as we don't like a Y in the middle of a word, we have to leave the Y there because we cannot have double I. Now when we add the ED, yes, we've just talked about this, we can change the Y to an I because there's a consonant before it and then we add the ED, spied, so the ED is making its 
d sound there. So we'd have dry, dries, drying, dried. And remember, you can't change the Y to an I in drying because we never, ever have double I in an English word. So what's the opposite to end? You have to write that word in there. What's the opposite to which? You have to write that word in there. So comparatives mean more of something. So if we're comparing two things, we say one has more of something than the other, and we usually add ER to make it mean more. And superlatives are when we compare more than two things. So we're comparing a super group of things. And then we usually, that means the most of something. So when we want to say the most of something, we usually add EST to the end of the word. So we've got dry, drier, driest. We wouldn't say that's more dry, and we wouldn't say that's the most dry. We would add ER and EST to say drier and driest. Find the small words inside begin. You can write them there. Um, proofreading. You've got to find which word is correct in this line, which word says began. The letters might be the same, but they might be in the wrong order. So you have to write it correctly on the line at the end. And the same for Y. Which one actually says Y? You can circle it or tick it and write it correctly on the line at the end. Combined with the list word, you've got a spyglass, a pigsty and a hair dryer. So you have to fill in those missing letters to make the missing word as part of that um, compound word. Alphabetical order, you have to say the alphabet and look at the first letter in each word to see if there's a matching letter. So let's highlight them so that it makes it easier to find them. Does the word start with A? No. B? Yes. Begin would be our first word, so we'd have to write that here. And when you've written it, cross it out because it'll make it easier to go through the others. So keep going through the alphabet until you've re written all of those words on the line. Rhyming words. Write any words you can think of that rhyme with spy. So there's some up the top to help you. You have to write them inside the stars. Off you go. G8 day four, we're doing some proofreading and then we're doing some sound group work and then we're making some new words. It's a bit of a game down here. So proofread this passage. Underline the incorrectly spelled words. Write the correct spelling on the line. So Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. The first line, there's one word wrong in each line that you have to find, underline it. And then you have to write the word correctly on the line at the end. Now these are all words that you've learned in this book or previous book. So you should be able to spell all the words. So remember one word is wrong in each line, Hide, underline it and then write the correct word there. Now write words that belong with these sound groups. So in this one, the sound group is where the S says Z. So you might have words like was, is, etc. This is where the CE says s at the end of a word or could be at the start of a word. So you might have words like scent or nice. Um, fold, you've got the OLD. So words that end with OLD you might have words like gold, hold, bold, told. Ugly, the last sound is making the long E sound and we're using a Y to make the long E. E sound, so you might be able to write a word like funny, something. So that's what we're looking for there, the Y making the long E sound at the end of a word. Now here the Y at the end of a word is making its long I sound. So we could have shy, my, and you can find some others. On go, the O is making its long sound, O. So we can have go, so, etc. You can finish those off. Now down the bottom it says make new words. Use the last letter from the previous word to start your new word. So the last letter of hat is t. So the first letter of the next word has to start with a t. So we've got hat, tap. 
Now the last letter of tap is a P. So the first letter of the new word has to start with a P. P the last letter of pan is an N. So it means the first letter of the next word has to start with an N. Let's think. N so you know the start of the next word must be a T. You can finish that little pattern off. So you're going to go around there and back this way to the end.